Now, Mary, what's up, Mary? How are you doing, Tariq? What's on Hi. Your Mary, what's on your Okay, you're you're going in and out. I can barely hear you, Tariq. How are you doing? I'm good. Come on, dear. Okay, well, hi, everybody. God bless everybody here. So I'm going to keep it short. Um, I don't really buy Trump's grift. I think he's a con man. I feel like he's trying to avoid charges. That's he, He's going to have to face on the 18th. And, you know, trying to get him into office. He's trying to pardon the insurrectionists. I'm not feeling that. And I align with, you know, Republican conservative views for the most part. I'm, I just don't see him. The TV reality show grifter, con man, um, I'm not buying it. And I never did, really. But for the most part, I understand people not feeling Kamala all the way. I didn't trust her either. But Tim Walls, I did live in Minnesota for a little bit. He's an awesome governor. I'm talking about dude is fucking X game mode or machinery. It's not a single manufacturing facility in Minnesota. He's not hands on in. Um, there are snowstorms that we face every week in Minnesota. Never had the lights go off. Right. You go back to Texas and a bot and Ted Cruz has the lights going off for little tiny storms, category two storms. So it's it's. It's if people are dying in the dark. Right. So because the, they don't want to join the national grid. So it's just, you know, I, th these are my reasons why I support that so ticket for him for keeping the lights. on. Yeah, he keeps the lights on. He supports jobs. He has people come and move in. I, 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 there's other reasons. But, um, you uh, know, yeah, he got, yeah, they got you got non citizens up there getting jobs and getting put on the police force. That's up there in Minnesota. They got like some non-citizens person who um, some undocumented immigrants letting them be police officers up there in Minnesota, from what I understand. Yeah, they got. Okay. I, well, that's my first time hearing that. What I saw firsthand were they were bringing people in from Puerto Rico, which are Americans. They were busting them in up there just to work at Polaris and other, you know, manufacturing places that I was engineering at. Um, they do that. They do that. And I support that option. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not, that's not a big thing to me. Hold on, I, hold immigration on. is not my gore pro issue. Hold a on. lot of people feel strongly about it. Though. Hold on. I got a Romo. He's a, he's, a, he's an Ethiopian, by the way. A Romo hop in. <laughs> man, <laughs> I'm here from Twin Cities, Minnesota, bro. What she, what she's saying is not true, man. Oh. Since these Democrats took over, man, our Twin Cities, our Main Street, the University Avenue, it's all homeless, bro. People are staying to sleeping, bro. They're on drugs. Once the sun goes down at 6.30 p.m. here in Minnesota now, bro, that street is home. In the Twin Cities, you said? Okay. Yes, here. So, right let in me, Midway, let me tell you Paul. what's going on around Roseau and War Road and the local rural towns, and you know, the small towns that don't get a lot of attention. These people, I'm sorry what's going on in the city. I can't really speak for that. But the places that people forget, the, pl the places that, that are in the dark, they're getting these local people jobs. They're making sure they're housed. They don't pay electricity. The, one or two grocery stores in two cities and people are taken care of. These are communities of people that, that work their you asses off. you telling me the government is taking care of the people? No, these, no, their government is not. Well, it's, and that's not a bad thing. They're going out shoveling out that snow every morning. Hell, you know, I, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at their, they keep people working and they make sure they have a check. I'm not upset but, but, with it. Yeah, hold on. But, but here, that's not really a flex. We, your, your tax dollars pay for them to shovel the snow. That's where your tax dollars come in, no matter who's in office. Right. But our tax dollars here down in the South are not going towards people cutting down trees and making sure power lines are, or the infrastructure for the national grid is not shutting down for these storms. These little tiny storms that are going on hell, you know, th th hey, the hey, lights Mar are going off hey, for Mary, weeks at a time. Mary, we this is monopoly going on here. We have only one company to provide electricity throughout the whole Minnesota. One company to pick up all of our garbages. 
one company to provide us water. We have no choice. You behind on your no, bill? No, they're still connected to the Minnesota is connected to a national grid, and they're even backed up by Canadian grid as well. Um, Center Point is the only Texas is the only state in America connected to its own grid, and that's why Center Point was able to monopolize Texas, buy out every single electricity company in Texas, and now their shitty infrastructure goes down every time we have a storm. So you can't tell me I deal with. Blue Blizzards on it on a daily, we're weekly Minnesota basis. Blizzard. Okay, we're designed for the blizzard. For the last hundred and fifty years, we've been making the state. We're designed I for the snow. I'm from, I'm, but if it Texas get blizzard, unexpected blizzard, why the electricity Texas goes down. That's why city. it went down. Not because the Texas government expenditure is bad. But I'm telling you, the Minnesota expenditure is very bad. Our schools are oh, garbage. I can't. I'm not a witness. We have tampons in our school. Minnesota has done boys, nothing but it's a top bathrooms. five business state. For it's the top five business state. How because, in the world is it so Because of the natural they resources, they're up there working their asses off. It's because of the natural resources. This is a terrible place to live, low key. But because of the natural resources, nobody wants to live here. They hype up the money so much to get people up in here from nice weather places to live. They're I'm increasing sorry. the no, pay in Minnesota. Walls has secured gone contracts with with the army, ATVs. Polaris makes the ATVs and uh, uh other machinery for the military. If they were such a, so dependent on resources, then that would, would would be they they do machinery and manufacturing. They do assembly. Marvin doors and windows does Hollywood um frames and doors and all type of inf like billions of dollars these are all these conservative businesses not to make a lot of money these are but all conservative flourishing. businesses all in the conservative district in the greater minnesota i don't think you know what you're talking about oh this i'm speaking about well, the we're under, not right the here next to the reservation right here next to the war world reservation i'm very familiar with it but texas is under red republican a rule and it's bullshit down here. If you, if and anybody's all the on California drugs, folks are moving to Texas. Well, look at the border here. Look it at our look border. like people like, from you Texas is moving to California. Here. It looks like the Californians are the ones moving to Texas. And the part grid you claiming about it only happened one time. Unexpected weather happened. No, right? oh my God, please. Do, oh my God, how could you say that? that is not true. We have had several, not even freezes. If, if it gets a little snow on the ground, the fucking lights are off. Watch. Please do not say that. We have had hundreds of people I dying since uh, since 2014. The lights have... Hold on. Hold on. Language. Please watch your language. Please. Watch the language, please. Go ahead. Go ahead. I apologize for that. Forgive me. I'm, I'm getting worked up. I'm, I'm sorry for that. Go I worked in Norson for nine years, and I saw people dying, dying. The hospitals, they, they, uh, we see snow on a daily basis in Minnesota. Worst and, weather I've ever seen in my life. Is, and your explanation is the government didn't go liberal enough in Texas to do no, what No, they're not challenging. The, the Everybody's gridiron? buying out to center point. I can't respect that myself. I respect Republicans. I have been Republican, but I no longer align with their morals. It's no longer aligned with mine. If you can't take initiative. And you're leaving the country when the lights are off. You're going to fucking, um, excuse my language, you're going to Cancun when people are dying in your state. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Walls has never did that. And he made sure everybody had their lights on with whatever storm was going on. So that's why I'm supporting their ticket. I'm sorry. Oh. Unbelievable. Oh. Yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Texas is not taken seriously. Everybody talk, talking about, you know, stuff that doesn't even matter. People are dying under your watch in Texas. We have a problem with our border. You said Mexico was going to pay for that border. Y'all y'all did all of that hype and they didn't pay a dime. So how are you feeling um, about, you know, the, the border, the, the, the border crisis? How do you feel about that? Texas was Mexico before it was Texas. These people have been here before I was born. Now, anybody saying that they need to leave here, I'm not with that. And I really don't care about that. But I don't appreciate the uh, the influx of drugs, human trafficking, or whatever criminal activity the cartels are bringing. They're fleeing from that, but they're chopping off people's head. They just cut the mayor's head off and set it on a car. So I don't want to, you know, I don't. we don't want no smoke with them. Uh, but Mary, America did buy so much cocaine. Mary, Mary, Mary. Mary, Mary, Mary. <laughs>
Harry, Harry. I'm sorry, Tariq. You're going in and out. Your mic's going in and out. Okay, can you hear me? Because you got a, you're fumbling around a lot over there on your phone. What are you doing? Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're on speaker. I'm I'm here in the kitchen. But um, yeah. Now, Mary, Mary, where's your family from, dear? Um, uh, my family is from Southern America. We are Texan people. Yeah. What part? We're from Houston. Were Were you born in Houston? I uh, yeah, I was born in Houston. Your grandma and them born in Houston? Grandma and them has lineage in Louisiana where, you know, they're they're from all type of places, Arkansas. They spread out a lot during during the migration. Oh, okay. Got any immigrants anywhere in that family tree? A ton. A, t a, a holy moly a lot. Really? <laughs> we have, uh, my grandfather's, he, he, he's white. He's a white man. Okay. Um, you know, and then for the most part, but you know, I don't really, I'm not, I understand what you're saying with FBA and I respect that you guys don't want to be tied in with other, they Where, just bundle, down, bundle us in. Where's your family from? What were immigrants? Okay. The white ones and where else? Cause you said there were tons. Where else? These they're Haitian they're, and Creole. Um, yeah. Hey. Just French background of Louisiana. Who's, who's Haitian in the family on your dad's side or your mom's side? Yes. Dad, dad's fam, dad, dad's side is Haitian, and mom's side is French and Native American, Choctaw and Cherokee. Okay, because I, I a tweet that you had a pro-immigrant tweet where you kind of threw me under the bus. There was a, a a picture of a meme of a bunch of black people from the Caribbean and with Yoruba. <laughs> Anna, oh, Tariq would literally roll over and die if he saw this. Oh, Tariq, I literally, I, I feel I, you're brilliant, and I appreciate what you do here. I do. I appreciate it. And I, it took me a lot of listening to you, because when I first heard what you were saying, like, long time ago, 2020, I'm like, what the fuck? Excuse my language. But I, 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 I understand where you're coming from, and it's a fair argument. You don't want to be grouped in with other diasporas. That's fair. African American is this very specific, distinct background mm -hmm. we don't need to be grouped in with jamaicans and everybody else i feel what you're saying yeah. so i make jokes here a lot on this page it's just a joke you know uh -huh. when somebody's pro-immigrant that means you got people make jokes like that they got some immigrants in their family because that means you're low-key you got offended you got offended i feel like i mean growing up in a very uh in a hispanic neighborhood I this these are all of the people that I know. They're not documented people. I grew up in a neighborhood that was not, you know, they're all Mexican. I was the only black girl in my school. So it's it's just I don't really care if they're there or not. I care about the crime that, that's being committed and I'm seeing it more from from people that are American, you know, we're seeing a lot of horrible crimes being committed domestic than immigrants. But man, I'm looking at some of your tweets. I'm I'm retweeting some of your stuff, ma'am. Don't Tyreek, oh. don't clock me. Am I see you got white boy love? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You've been really openly professing your love for the white boys. <laughs> Are you dating a white boy now? No, I'm not. What was the last white boy you had, ma'am? Why would you? Why is that? What, what does that matter? It mattered. We did about white boy love, so it mattered for you to public. If there's a black woman that's that's talking to a, um like any kind of other race, go down. We're not trying to get into anecdotal things. We're getting into you. Now, if you profess your love publicly about white men, I think it's perfectly fine to ask you to elaborate on that, man. That matters. Your love for the white man matters. I, I feel like growing up with my grandfather, loving my grandma so much and seeing that firsthand, they've never argued, never heard him cussing her. I don't see nothing wrong with it. And, I, I'm not going to lie to you. But I mean, some of this stuff will kind of shape your views a little bit. It'll shape your views. If you, you had a white man and a black, your, your grandfather was white and your grandmother was black, right? Yeah. Right. So yeah, you grew up seeing that. And this shapes your political views because you're very pro Kamala. You're pro Kamala. And Kamala has her a white man. So yeah, you see yourself in Kamala. You understand?
I, I get what you're saying, Tariq. Um, I don't I didn't see like what's what is um the problem with Kamala. Like what's your issue against her? Where do you want to start? Whatever means the most to you. Like what's your main reason for not vote taking her on her okay. on your ticket? My main one is her telling black people what the hell she ain't gonna do for black people exclusively. I saw that. I did. Right there. That's all it needed. She, that's all you need to do for me. I, I believe you. You don't do that to groups. When you say, when you speak to other groups, you don't go, she ain't never went to them. I ain't going to do nothing. Only going to help no Chinese people. I ain't going to do nothing. Only going to help. Yeah, she's like, I'm not only doing it. it whatever I do is going to benefit everybody. I heard exactly what she said. Right. But do you feel like Trump would do anything to benefit us as an African-American like us? No. Not Africans, but us. I, I think he would do it before she would. I think Trump would actually do something. I think there's something that Trump would do. Trump is a businessman. So if we, you know, somebody went to Trump and just kind of put things a certain way, he would possibly do something specific for foundational black Americans. So some, do somebody would have to go to him and tell him, hey, this is what black people want. Right. You know? So, I mean, I, you, you grew up watching him on TV and, you know, watching him be the bridge guy in movies and stuff. How do you feel about him being a reality TV show personality and trying to tr cross over to politics and make it like entertainment, like WWE? You know what I mean? Like, there's no sophistication. I get what you're saying. He's unscripted. He says it what it is. And if somebody came to him and was like, hey, give the black something, he'd do it. But um, do you feel like, you know, he's actually like really qualified? Well, the thing is, he's been in office before. He's been in office. And when he was in office, you got to be very honest. I'm very honest. Um, none of his policies, he didn't put no policies together that harm black people. He didn't. But every promise he made never kept a single didn't fucking make no, didn't make no promise. Make no promise. But he didn't harm us. That's the thing. He didn't put any policies together that harmed us. The Democrats make a bunch of promises, don't do them, and then put together policies that actually harm us. And that's the problem that I have with the Democrats. We should allow them to crash and burn. They are horrible. That's fair. And that's fair. That's why I've stood mostly independent throughout my, since I've been 18 years old. I, I don't feel like the Democrats probably, they, they do prey on minority they know the more minority is going to gravitate towards them how i just don't see that in trump's administration i feel like he denied aid to puerto rico the first time he was throwing to we were running out of toilet paper at stores and stuff he mishandled the the covid crisis mm -hmm. completely it was a fail it was a fail you didn't close the border and the part that you did take the border you went and took pictures on the part that obama did Mm -hmm. what, what dude you you set your whole administration tweeting and golfing and tweeting and golfing you didn't take anything serious so i just don't it's not there with him anymore then during the debate during um jd they were like they were trying to tell uh, kamala was like okay we need to send money to the border patrol agents i've been down there this is what we need to do they asked him the same question oh they just need moral support Dude, what are you talking about? We can't, what are they supposed to do with moral support? Oh, I don't feel like we should do anything. They just need moral support. That was the stupidest answer I've ever heard. And a lot of people didn't catch it. But I was like, she just told you she has money ready for them. And she has a plan set for them. She knows that people are against her and she's trying to like mend it a little bit. But for the most part, I'm just feeling like they're 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 WWE in us and people with low IQs, they're going to buy it. The geriatric conspiracy boomer people, they're going to buy it. The Facebook bots, they're going to buy it. But these these Russian accounts, they can't vote in America. So I know they're loud online, oh but let Lord, me tell you, the, the real vote is going to show up. Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a chance. Democrat talking points, the whole Russian bot thing, That's that comes from the DNC. No, there's actually oh. evidence. And I... I'll slow down because okay, now you're doing all the DNC talking points. Yeah, Kamala, eh, her, her numbers ain't looking good. Um, Hillary Clinton's numbers were looking better in 2016, and she still lost. Kamala's numbers ain't even nowhere near Hillary Clinton's numbers at all. And Trump is already winning some of the swing states. So, how do you think Kamala's really going to win? Even all the betting sites are putting the money on Trump.
So how do you think Kamala has a chance in hell of winning? Well, Polly Market, nobody that's an American is allowed to vote there. So that's for first and foremost. And I understand that. Um, I just don't really feel like he has a chance. And he has charges he has to face on the 18th. And he made a lot of promises to a lot of people that he's going to get him out of trouble for the stuff that he did during his first term. So I understand that he's trying to push. He doesn't care about America. I love this country. I'm not going to hold you. I love this. I think this is the best country on this planet. And I think we have the. We okay. So, oh, Lord. You're, just, you're doing a lot of slogans. Al, let me get Al in here. Al, hop on now. Mary, you are sloganizing. Stop sloganizing. What was that? That's what Jim Clyburn said. Stop sloganizing. Sloganizing kills people. Yeah. Man, but yeah, you Mary is stomping hard. You're DNC shilling. All right, Al. What's up, Al? Okay, while we're waiting on Al, let's get Red back in here. Let's get Red back in here. Red, hop on in, Red. Let me have you chime in with Mary. Red, hop in. Tyreek, can you hear me? I can hear you, Red. Hold on. Okay, I just want to know, are you going to do a live stream during election night? Because I'm a poll challenger, and after I'm done making sure they don't cheat in this election, because I am pro-Trump and I am a Republican, I just want to know if you're doing a live stream. That's all, because I might hop on. Yeah, most likely I will, because it's going to be a big night. It's going to be a big night, so most likely I will be doing something. So um, we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be very interesting. Oh, man. Um Okay, but thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. Mary was DNC shilling very, very hard. Shout out to everybody in here. We're almost 1,500 deep in the middle of the night, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all raise your hand if you're ready to get on. Raise your hand if you're ready to get on. And I would like for some more Democrats to call up because y'all got to reach to justify what you want to do with, um, with Kamala and Tim Waltz. There's a reach because they don't really have no policies. They don't really have no good policies. Kamala ain't really running on no policy. And Mary had to call in and kind of cobble together some manufactured policy. Well, Tim Walsh, he makes sure we be having electricity. I love his electricity. Ooh, it keeps me warm. I can make some popcorn. I can microwave some Pop tarts and chicken wings. I love some electricity. It's so feels so good, ma'am. Boy, that's desperate. If you giving this dude props for some damn electricity, and he be helping to shovel the snow, I love to drive without no snow in my way. Hell, Trump ain't gonna let us drive without no snow now. Trump gonna have us snowed in. That's desperation. Mary, Mary, that's desperation. Mary, you don't mind being snowed in. You'd be snowed in with a white zaddy. All them white men you love. You love you a white man. This woman, damn, you're going to be snowed in with Brad. We snowed in, Brad. I'm going to make you some collard greens in the tub like Kamala. Oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> Oh, so Mary got white boy love. She got zaddy love. That's why you're supporting Kamala. There's a little bedwinching spirit that you like. All right, just say that. That's what I like to put. See, it's, it's good to find out people's background so that you can put everything in context. You see? You got to put everything in context. And I knew she had a foreign background because that little meme she tweeted about me and uh, that's somebody with a foreign background would tweet that. She tried to play like she was full FBA. No. That's why you, you got to ask people questions. Oh, I'm FBA now. Where's your grandfather from? Haiti. Okay. <laughs> but my mama knew me something else. Okay. All right. So you got to ask questions here. You got to ask questions out here in these streets. Shout out to Mary. Mary seems like a sweetheart. When she's not around them zaddies. All right. Let's get um Tony X in the building. Let's get Emery in the building. Hold on. Emery, where you at? Emery, why are you dressed like the brown hornet? 
Emory. All right, Tony. What's up, Tony? Yo, what's up, Tariq? I talked to you before, man. Um, just wanted to say keep doing your thing, man, and we're going to get them reparations soon. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to land my plane on that. Run away. Feel that natural flow. Stay fresh wherever you go. Rude work. I like the way it feels. Rude work. The magic is so real. Rude work. You need it for work or play. Rude work. Keeps me fresh throughout the day. 